and said, you're Henrietta. And I, <laughs> I went towards the back and I found myself <laughs> and I saw what I was saying and I liked it. Chaka Khan is an American singer. Beginning in the 1970s as the main singer of the funk band Rufus, her career has lasted more than five decades. Khan was the first R&B artist to have a crossover success with a rapper with I Feel For You in 1984. Khan is known as the Queen of Funk. Khan has received 10 Grammy Awards and has reportedly sold about 70 million songs globally. She earned four gold singles, four gold albums, and two platinum albums with Rufus. Khan achieved three gold singles, three gold albums, and one platinum album with I Feel For You throughout her solo career. That, but that didn't make much sense. He, after about an hour of going around it, we, then he said, just talk like yourself. So, and then that worked. So. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Yvette Marie Stevens, but is also known as Shaka Adune Adufe Hamoja Hodarth Karifi Khan. She was born March 23, 1953 in Chicago, making her 69 at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 3 inches tall. Khan is a vegan, claiming she embraced the diet to lose weight, manage high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes, and reduce her cholesterol level. Khan formerly suffered with substance abuse and alcoholism. In the early 1990s, her drug use, which at times included cocaine and heroin, ceased. Khan fought alcoholism intermittently until 2005 when she declared herself sober. In 2006, her son Damian Holland was charged of murder following the shooting death of Christopher Bailey, 17 years old. Khan testified on behalf of her son. Holland asserted that the shooting was accidental. He was found accountable in the civil claim but acquitted in the criminal prosecution. Khan, who performed at both the Democratic and Republican conventions in 2000, describes herself as a Democratic-minded person. Khan was featured in a 2013 edition of Celebrity Ghost Stories in which she narrated the tale of a shadow man who followed her on tour for years until she met a guardian angel who warned her to change her life or perish. In November 2020, Khan was inducted as an honorary member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Khan is the mother of two children, daughter Indira Malini and son Damian Holland. She's been married twice. Her first marriage to Hassan Khan in 1970, when she was 17 years old, ended shortly thereafter in divorce. Malini, who was born as a result of Chaka Khan and Rashan Morris's romance, Khan married her second husband, Richard Holland, in 1976. Reportedly, the marriage sparked tension between Khan and other members of Rufus, especially Andre Fisher. Holland's request that she tone down her seductive stage persona, but she refused. Khan spent time in the studio with Ike Turner, who she described as a great inspiration and a catalyst emotionally and in other ways during that challenging period. 1980 was the year Holland filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable disagreements. Khan dated a Chicago area educator during the mid 1980s, during the height of her solo career. Following their divorce, Khan relocated to Europe, initially staying in London before purchasing a home in Germany. She spent some time in Germany in a small town in the Rhine Valley and later in Mannheim. Great human being. Um, and we clicked right away. And uh, he's very funny and uh, very sweet man. She was born Yvette Marie Stevens. She was raised in an artistic bohemian household in Chicago. She's the eldest of five children born to beatniks Charles Stevens and Sandra Coleman. Khan was a fan of rhythm and blues music early in her life, and at age 11, she formed a girl group, the Crystalettes. As a teen, Khan attended several civil rights rallies and joined the Black Panther Party after befriending activist and fellow Chicago native Fred Hampton in 1967. She was given the name Chaka Adune Adufe Hodari Karifi at age 13 by Yoruba Baba. In 1969, Khan left the Black Panthers and dropped out of high school. She started performing in small groups around the Chicago area. She first shined onto the music scene in the 1970s as the front woman and focal point of the band Rufus, which were recognized for their strong R&B and funk sound. 
The group caught the attention of Ike Turner, who flew them out to L.A. to record at his music studio. Turner wished for Khan to become an Iquette and work with them, but she declined. In 1973, the group released their first self-titled album that included hits like Whoever's Thrilling You and Feel Good. Their next album, Rags to Rufus, was released one year later, becoming a smash both commercially and critically. The same year, Stevie Wonder wrote the hit Tell Me Something Good for Them, which sold more than a million copies. Subsequently, Rufus scored a Grammy Award for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a duo, group, or chorus for the song in 1974. The rest of the decade, they continued enjoying success with no less than eight platinum albums. The band gained popularity as a live performing act and Khan was the star attraction thanks to her colorful stage attire and powerful vocals. But in spite of their prosperity, Khan decided to leave the band and went solo in 1978. Chaka's first solo album became a global hit with the disco single I'm Every Woman, which scored a number one spot and eventually became Khan's signature song. The song helped the album go platinum and sold over a million copies. Khan featured on Quincy Jones' 1978 hit, Stuff Like That. The following year, Khan reunited with Rufus on the hit, Do You Love What You Feel?, which Khan sang with Tony Maiden. Khan released her second solo album, Naughty, in 1980, and the album spawned the hits Clouds and Papillon. Khan released two albums in 1981, one with Rufus and one solo album, What You Gonna Do For Me?, which went gold. Two more solo albums were released the following year by Khan, and the jazz hit Bebop Medley won Khan a Grammy. That's a situation we're in right now that a lot of mothers and, and fathers and children and grandmothers and fathers will see it all together in one room. Chaka Khan has been able to gain her net worth from her musical career and through various endorsements and businesses. And Chaka earns around an average earning of over $5.2 million annually. Also, she earns millions from her business ventures and charges around $25,000 to $50,000 to appear in the private events and functions. Earnings from her music career have brought her net worth to millions over five decades. In 1974, from the album Rufusized with Rufus Funk Band, she earned a million dollars. Also in the same year, from the record sales of another album with Rufus, Rags to Rufus, she made over a million dollars. Further, another album, Rufus featuring Chaka Khan, also made record sales of over $1 million in 1975, as well as the same amount was earned by another album released in 1977, which was Ask Rufus. And in 1978, from her debut album, Chaka Khan, she was able to make over $500,000 from the sales. Khan's net worth is estimated to be $95 million. Meanwhile, Chaka Khan also has various real estate properties adding to her net worth. Chaka had a beautiful house in New York during the start of her career in the 1970s. Further, her popularity in the field of music drove her to London from the United States, and she had a house in London before relocating to Germany in the 1980s, where she stayed till 1990. Following this, Chaka came back to her home country and bought a gorgeous house in the expensive area of Los Angeles in Beverly Hills. Also, the house sits on over 7,019 square feet, having six bedrooms and five full and one half bathroom, and was used by the famous band Eagles for jamming. Cars you'll find in her garage include a Mercedes, a Range Rover, a Volkswagen Beetle, a Jeep Renegade, and an Aston Martin. 